Why? Because you deserve it. You also know how to use power. You use it with confidence and precision. Well, that's how I felt that day. Very confident and very powerful. But you know, there's something I will never understand about that. You fought your own destiny to the very end just to stay with Josh Lewis. Now, would you please tell me why? Because I don't like to lose, Alan. Mm, that didn't sound too good. It sounded uh, like a loss. A setback. It was a setback. That's it. I had an opportunity to capitalize on the success of the Harbor Project. In Singapore, it just didn't work out. Let me guess. Lewis Construction got the bid. I don't know, Alan. It's possible. All right, they got it. They got the project, but it's only because... It's because they have the resources, the power, money behind them to make the bid. Hey, tell me something. Are you very upset at losing to Lewis Construction or more upset at losing to Riva? Riva has nothing to do with this. She's not a businesswoman. This is about business, pure and simple. Well, there's nothing pure and simple about you, Olivia. That's what attracted me to you in the first place. You don't like to lose. When you lose, you take it personally. Your instinct is to hit back. Well, why don't you let me help you? Fulfill your destiny. You deserve it. You can use me, my power, my money, and you will never have to lose again. You are unbelievable. You will take advantage of any situation just to get me into bed. Well, at least I'm consistent. Isn't there something to be said about that? Yes. Isn't it that consistency is the hobgoblin of small minds? Well, now, you can misquote Emerson, but you can't deny the fact that there is a force that bonds us together. Now, you, you told me that yourself. Did I, really? I don't remember that. Olivia, if you walk out this door alone, we both lose. Alan, if I walk out that door alone, we both win. Oh. What are these? The keys to your heart? Better. The keys to my front door. Did you think that was a thank you? Well, of course. For what? For helping you realize that I can give you everything you need <gasps> and a little more. <laughs> well, that sounds good. It's completely wrong, but it sounds good. Actually, that wasn't a thank you so much as it was a kiss off. Oh? Yeah, I consider it a last moment of contact, a reminder of what you're going to miss. Because it's never going to happen again. The truth is, I probably won't have a lot of time for you anymore, so... Ciao. Well, then perhaps I should give you back the keys that you gave me? No, 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 keep them. Just know that I probably won't be around if you decide you want to use them. See, I have been offered a job in Rio de Janeiro, building a project very similar to the one I built in San Cristobal. Really? Yeah, and since I'll be traveling back and forth so much, I won't have a lot of time for those extracurricular activities. Mm. Work comes first, you understand that. And oh. this is a wonderful opportunity for me. I understand, and Olivia, congratulations. Is something... Is something wrong? Yes, something's what? wrong. I... I wasn't...
exactly expecting such a benign reaction from you. Well, why not? I mean, obviously, you are rising up from the ashes to show Reva and Josh that you are a woman to be reckoned with. I am just thrilled that this job came along oh, for you. Oh, you were just a little too gung-ho for my liking, Alan. When you're happy, I'm happy. And I think you're going to love Rio. You know the city? Very well. And by the way, when you're down there, I want you to say hello to a friend of mine, Roberto Reyes. Roberto Reyes? That's huh? the man who hired me. Really? Well, in a small world, I knew he was a part of the development down in Rio, but I had no idea that he would hire you. You liar! Oh, oh, excuse me? I knew you were too blasé about all this. I didn't get this job on my talent and abilities, did I, Alan? In fact, I didn't get this job at all. You set this up! I knew this fell into my lap too easily. Olivia, you've been very down lately. I mean, you've, your marriage has just broken up. You lost the Singapore project. You've just discovered that Beth is gone for good. Now, the only thing... Patronize me. No, 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 not at all. Look, I, I can't make that project a success. I can't get inside your head and make brilliant decisions. Oh, That's up to you. Gee, Alan, thanks. This project will be a triumph or a disaster just because of you. Not anymore. What do you mean? I'm not taking the job, Alan. Oh, that's ridiculous. Now, why don't you just accept it in the spirit that it's offered to you? No! Oh, damn it! Uh, Olivia, listen, why don't you... Why is it so hard for you to let me make things easier for you? As I recall, you played a major part in the demolition of my marriage, so you'll have to forgive me, but I'm not ready to let bygones be bygones. Your marriage to Josh ended by itself because he didn't understand you or your needs. Really? And you do? Haven't I proven it? By getting me that job in Rio? Work is what you want, Olivia. And what do you get in return, Alan? What's the string that's attached to that act of kindness of yours? I get the satisfaction of seeing you be a success in Brazil, and I will revel in it. Oh, oh, you have money invested in this, don't you? What if I do? That is the ultimate string. What better way to control me than by using your financial clout in a project that I'm involved with? I have no desire to control you. What do you want to... What, you, what word do you want to use? You want to use handle, manipulate, manage? It's all the same, okay? I get pressured into doing what you want. Well, you can forget about it. I am not going to put myself in that position. Not this time. You know, Olivia, if I really wanted to control you, all I would have had to do was steer that project in the Rio to Lewis Construction. Then you would have been home alone and available to me. Now, I make a good point, Ooh. don't I? Mm-hmm. Okay. So what... What is the turn-on for you in all this? I get turned on in watching you control things and making brilliant decisions. My investment in the San Cristobal project made me millions. So I would gladly roll my dice on you again. Are you trying to tell me that this sweet talk is all a cover? That your motivation is to make money off me? <laughs> I love it. Well, I'm glad, and I'm a little relieved. Oh, so am I, because I am much more comfortable with Alan the Shark than I am with Alan the Altruist. So you must really believe in me. I do. I know you're not only a woman with drive and ambition. You have vision. Not many people can say that. But don't think that a thank you kiss is coming now. It, it never entered my mind. Good. Good luck. You too. I just want to get one thing straight. 
Remember, we are doing this on my terms, yes, okay? Sir. Yes. Or not at all. Absolutely. 